Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to model this roof. Okay, so first I'm going to model it in Revit 2020. And after that I'm going to uh, show you how to do it in 2021. So first in this uh, project, go to elevation, copy one level up. So now let's go to 3D view, W, A, wall. Uh, let's pick a wall, maybe this one, and then create four walls. Okay, so select all these four walls, change the top constraint to level one. And then I'm going to roughly maybe like this. Okay, so. And then place some windows, WN, and place a window on this wall. And if you look at this image, I guess the seal height of these walls are, oh sorry, a seal height of these windows are 900 maybe. So I'll um, just select this window and change it to 900. And also I'm going to copy some of them, so multiple. Okay, so now, um, Let's model the, the the roof. So go roof, yes, pick wall, tab, select all these four, make sure the lines at the on the exterior face of the wall, and also select all of these four line, change the slope to something like maybe 80, and also I noticed that uh, there's a little bit overhang there. Okay, so I'll change, I'll type in maybe um, uh, 300 maybe, and then finish it. Okay, so now you will see this is very, very nice roof. But so it looks like that cut here. So select this roof and change this rafter cut to um, to to square maybe. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure about the height. I'll leave it for now. So we'll figure out. Okay. So <clears throat> so when you look at this image, so because the seal height of this window looks like the same to that one, so I assume that's 900 as well. So what I'm going to do is go to elevation. I want this roof at at 900 from this. So what I'm going to do is I'll just select this loop, type in 900. Okay, and then so um, so these walls I'm going to change the top can offset 900. Okay, so now I need to cut this roof at this height. So what I'm going to do is select this roof, change the cut of level from now to level 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 two and you will notice that uh, there's a line here so if you change to wireframe wf you will see the internal side it cut at this level but the, the 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 overall height the highest point is uh more than you know higher than level two i just need we need, just need to figure out what this height is so if you select this dimension it tells you 2303.5 so you just need to select this roof and um, uh, where is the cut off offset negative 2303.5 so you will see this roof will stop at exactly at the level 2 okay so now this is the lower roof and then I just we will just see as create similar so this time it will start at level two and yes pick this time pick line okay and then pick the internal face of this uh, opening and then select all this and maybe change it to 20 and finish and because there's a thickness of that we can just move it down okay so Let's go to 3D view again. So that's, it. and of course we need some uh, we need some windows at that level. But because windows are 
wall based family you won't be able to place windows in a roof so what we need to do is we need to place the window in some wall so we need to um, but because the this wall currently stop at 900 so i'm going to show you so if i copy a window up i can place it here okay so our temporary hide hard is hh so i can place a window here and then if i change the uh, seal height to 899 still okay but if i change it to 900 not cutting anything okay so what i'm going to do is we can just select all these wall and change the top offset to 901 so this way i can just change this to 900 so we can have a wall sitting on top of this uh, oh sorry you can have this window sitting on top of this wall as long as that's that's one mil it's cutting one mil okay so um okay so we can just control c and go escape modify paste select level level one okay so we have these four windows in the hr so the window will be covered by this roof we just need to model in place a void so usually if i'm cutting a roof i'll just model this uh, void as a roof as well so yeah um, this is my uh, uh, personal uh, preference okay so set world plan pick plan okay pick this wall and then uh, void extrusion pick line wf wireframe and then you just move your cursor onto this window in a tab 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 so until you see and uh, sorry too too many times one tab tab yeah that's it just pick this one two yeah that one one two yeah one two yeah so four uh window so and then finish and you will see these two these two are the depths just make sure it, it uh, is deep enough to cut your roof okay so let me change it to shade sd and then we can use cut cut roof void so and finish okay so that's that's it um so this is the method number one uh, which is uh, roof to roof in 2020 and, and also older version of it but if now let me show you in 2021 so I'll create a new project as well okay so same go to elevation copy one level go to 3d view w a wall pick one wall and rectangle draw a shape of this building and then select all this wall change the top constraint to level one and place a window somewhere and change the seal height of this window to 900 copy it multiple one two three and okay so now select wall all these wall and windows control c escape modify paste align to select level and select, um, paste it into level one so now we have uh, some exact the same uh, wall and windows on up level um and then we can select all these full wall and here cross section so change this to slanted and also typing a degree uh an angle 10 degree okay so you will notice that uh, we probably need to offset this wall so um i just need to make sure the distance what distance we need so to, in the elevation so do, do a dimension so 
tab, select this face, and also pick this point. So that's 703. So 703.4. So that's what we need, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So now in 3D view, OF offset OF 703. Just type in 703.4 and place your cursor onto one of the walls. So see the dash line, not inside but outside of that wall, and the tab, okay, and click. So you will have four new walls and windows. I'll just delete the internal ones, okay, and then you will see this, this, that point will match this face. So I think that's okay, and then you just need to select this, these four, and create a new type. To uh, to match the roof. So for the roof, it's you can just use um, roof level two. And this time, I think uh, if I pick wall, it will pick the base of the wall. So you will see it go up, go to this. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe you can use offset, but it's it's maybe it's just easier. Just pick line, and then move onto this edge here and tab tab so pick this edge okay so tab tab pick and also here tab 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 pick this one tab 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 pick this one so now we have this full line and change it to 20 and okay oh sorry i think oh uh, uh, we should pick the that line, so I'll just I'll fix it. So um, I'll just move this to exterior. Uh, maybe just let's just do it again. So pick line, pick line, tab, tab, this one, tab, tab, tab. Oops, tab, tab, this one, tab, tab, this one and tab tab this one so trim them okay and then select all of them change this to 20 degrees and okay and of course move it down so now you just need to uh, change the wall type and to match the roof so you can have same uh, same fill pattern so um, I think that's that's it. And just notice that this window, or oh, hell, because this wing this wall need to be uh, the seal the window seal high will match the uh, window seal high. So oh sorry wrong one this one. So we just need to change this base offset to two nine hundred. Okay, and also of course this wall, I'll change the top offset nine hundred. So. And then we can um, change the wall type, but I just noticed that these windows are sitting on the exterior side of this wall, and you won't be able to move this window to inside. So uh, even you can you have this option only to match the wall, and that's only two options. So um, what I will do is same use the same method I'll just place all these windows so I'll delete this window and I'll change this window to 901 and I'll copy these windows up and I'll change this window to level 1 with 900 seal high and then of course I just need some opening so let's do it again. So model in place, wall. This time I'm going to use wall type and set a wall plan. Pick a plan. Okay, pick this wall and void extrusion. Pick line WF wireframe. Pick pick this window. So oops, sorry, wrong one. Yes, so that's for finish and adjust the depth a little bit. So we'll cut 
the more and as they shade and then we can just use cut tool wall void it's the same okay uh, looks like uh, maybe yeah maybe you need to change the thickness as well or even yeah I'm not sure if how I'm gonna fit. yeah the easiest way is change the thickness or maybe or maybe you can just uh, extend this wall up extend this wall up um, because I think in reality you probably will have a ver have this vertical wall up as well so and then fill all the gaps between the this one and this one so for example I'll change this to 20 uh, maybe 2400 high so you will see and then you just uh, somehow fill that gap and that's it okay so um, that's two method one with um, older version so we use roof roof and wall the other one use a slanted wall in 2021 okay so if you have any question or if you have um, better method please please let me know okay thank you i'll see you tomorrow bye stay safe